We welcome you to Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Tonight represents our second pay-per-view of the new year. Between the world's two best welterweights, they are Kamaru Usman and Gilbert Burns. And that will do it! And still, the best welterweight in the world! If Usman can keep doing what he's doing, he's gonna go down as the greatest welterweight ever. There is a new record holder for the longest winning streak in UFC welterweight history. And this guy has nothing but straight killers in that division that he has to get through, and possibly twice, some of them. You also had some very strong words for Jorge Masvidal immediately after the broadcast. I would reckon that he could really give Usman a good go if they had a rematch. I really believe that. And I believe we will see both those guys in the octagon fighting each other again. That's the fight you want next. Another fight with Jorge Masvidal. Any one of them. Masvidal was right there. He never lost his will to win. He was going for it. Came in for 25 hard minutes on short notice. Well, guess what? I'll give you a whole training camp, and this time I will stop him. I want to take his head off even more now that he beat me. We got this little street thug calling himself Jesus. It sounds like it's more personal to fight him again. The next title challenger has finally been decided. I know I could do more. Guess what? I'm not afraid. It's not done. We'll do it again. Well, hey, Masvidal will get the rematch against Kamar Usman at UFC 261. I'm not afraid. Usman versus Masvidal. Two. You may be, you know, back in front of a crowd at that point. We are back with a full house of 15,000 fans. I'll be back in stronger. I have something he wants, and he's coming to take it. I'm not going to disappear from the sport without this belt being wrapped around my waist. So when you step into my cage, we have to go to work. You had some pretty spectacular moments. I need that belt wrapped around my waist. His muscles aren't very big and his beard's pretty ugly. But besides that, I think it's going to be total domination. You getting baptized, my brother. One of the quickest decisions. You got your weapon for ending that dude. UFC 244 in the historic BMF title fight. Congratulations on the BMF title. Man, I want every belt that I can get my hands on, and I'm not even joking. What Tyron Woodley said. I would kick your ass and just wrestle. We got a new champ, folks. And what did Colby Covington say? December 14th, only on pay-per-view. I'm detaching this little clown from my coattails. Kamaru Usman finishes Colby Covington. That has got to feel good. And then what did Asvidal say? I'm going to baptize him. This fake G just wanted to be. I'm going to baptize him. You know what happened. Kamaru Usman. Take it what from who? I'm a whole nother savage. I cannot wait to see you defend your title again. Both those guys fought extremely hard under very difficult circumstances. With a full training camp, it might be a different story this time around. He hasn't been beaten in the UFC. It is hard to find that path to victory. So until you show me the blueprint, it doesn't exist. Yeah. I got a good formula in my head on how to beat him the next time. I'm gonna put him in a coffin this time. He's not willing to go where I'm willing to go. The way ends right here, right now. Oh, I'm not the world champion, come on, move Nobody can stop me. The real is back. It's finally here. And it all begins right now. The welterweight championship. Tomorrow, Usman versus Jorge Masvidal 2.